so we've talked about this before, absorption and admission lines, right? And how you can tell what elements are in which star based on these lines, chapter 3. However, you can also use these to tell its temperature. So not only does the absorption emission lines tell us composition, it also tells us temperature. What's kind of interesting in how that works is that for stars greater than 25,000 degrees Kelvin, they're going to have long or sorry, strong absorption lines for helium. And you can kind of see that there, right? Thir like at the 30,000 and then like the 6,000, right? Helium is a lot bigger of an area and there's not much going on there. Now stars at about 10,000 degrees Kelvin are going to have strong hydrogen lines. Um, anything weaker than 4,000, so we're looking at the 3,000, um, you're going to have weak absorption lines. And this is due because you're going to have a lot more molecules, a lot more stuff in it, right? So if it has a lot more stuff, its temperature is going to be a lot lower. And you can see that, right, look at the bottom one. It's just got absorption lines galore versus the top one that only has a few. So it turns out, even though these absorption lines differ, all stars are basically hydrogen and helium almost 100% of the time, with maybe 1% or so of other, right? So the reason why the absorption lines look different is because of temperature. So the temperature is why you get all these different absorption lines. Um, stars were classified by letters, A through P. But then as science got better, new classifications came out based on the temperatures, and rather than renaming everything, they just reordered it. So it's O, B, A, F, G, K, M, where O is the hottest and M is the coolest. And again, the little acronym they use to remember it is O, B, a fine guy, girl, kiss me. Now, each of these are subdivided into... 10 divisions from 0 through 9. Okay, so the lower the number, the hotter the star. So an F9 star is warmer than a G2 star. Well, fine guy, girl, right? So F comes before G, so it's hotter. Even though the 9 is higher than the 2, it's still got that first category. Now, we are a G2 star. By we, I mean the sun is a G2 star.